Well, the highlight of our exhibit here in Geneva is the Q50 Eau Rouge. Uh, it is the pinnacle performance car. It's the most powerful uh, Infinity car that has ever been conceived. Uh, still a concept at this stage, but uh, a very impressive one that delivers uh, 560 horsepower and 600 newton meters of torque and absolutely exhilarating performance, as is appropriate for uh, the, uh, the normal Q50 model, uh, which we are uh, releasing to the European market this month, and which itself is uh, a showcase of advanced technology. I think that uh, the world inevitably will move to the direction of uh, automation, uh, we already see a lot of the uh, base technologies uh, to be found in our new models that will be the important building blocks uh, to set this up for the future. But I would immediately add that uh, as a manufacturer of driver's cars, high performance cars, uh, we do not see the driver taking a back seat. Uh, rather, these are driving aids to facilitate safety, to help combat driver fatigue and to overcome uh, driver distraction. Well, certainly we see uh, our target audience, which we define as the uh, young minded premium consumer, uh, they live in a connected world. And the time that they spend in their automobile uh, must in no way get uh, in, the, in the way of, uh, of that ability to relate to the world around them. And that's part of the challenge for us as automakers, to create this connectivity in such a seamless way and integrated so that we can handle the challenges of driver distraction but also face the very practical reality that the vehicle occupants want to know what's going on around them without uh, wanting to be too concerned uh, about the safety. We will have to take the steps to provide that safety envelope and that is for us uh, what autonomous driving and connectivity are all about.